Hello and welcome to this step-by-step -step guide how to create a SharePoint company intranet website from scratch within 10 minutes. It's an easy, flexible solution with many options if you've been tasked with creating or in the process of replacing your internal company website. This is a website we will create during the guided steps in this video with picture content and the various components. We will create the links with graphics as shown together with an event section showing up and coming events in our company calendar with a countdown timer to the live event. Also a document library where visitors to the site can create and amend content files. Also included is the company newsfeed section. You will see as we build the site from the start there are many options to choose from so the point of the video is to give you ideas and inspiration to design the site for your company needs. Let's get started, but before we do, please subscribe to the channel for future notifications on video uploads released weekly. Thank you. So let's start by logging into office.com and then choosing the SharePoint icon on the left hand side. Click Create Site. Then choose a communications website for our intranet to share company information with others. Enter the site name, the site address, and then followed by the site description. We have the option to create a pre-built design. However, in this case, we will choose a blank design so we can build on that design from the start. Select a language and then click finish. We now have our blank design created. Let's start by uploading our company logo. Click settings in the top right hand corner, then click change the look. Click header, we have layout options which we can change here to change the menu display on the left. To change the logo, scroll to the bottom of the window under site logo and click change. Then select your file logo to upload and click save. As you can see, this has uploaded our logo in the top left of the screen. Now let's change to the title name. Click Site Contents as highlighted in green. Then click Site Settings in the top right hand corner of the screen. Under Look and Feel, click Title Description and Logo. Here you can change the title. We are just going to add Intranet to the end of the name, the same as the description as an example. Click OK and this will change the title as shown. Let's now add a web parts component by clicking edit in the top right. In the middle of the screen, click the plus sign. As you can see, there are many components we can add. We will start by adding the hero part. Now the hero part adds a design element to your page. You can display up to five items and use the available images, color text and links for each part. We will select two tiles as shown. We can then browse the vast amount of images available to you for your site. Let's choose an image, click edit, and then choose a title on that image. We will include a link to our external website and then republish. For the other tile, we did the same for our YouTube channel. Let's add a news feed, then republish, then add a new news item to display on our site. We have different display options here. We will choose visual as our template. We will edit the content and upload an image. We edit the news web part, then there are many options for the layout displayed as an example. Let's add an event and then republish. Add the date and time for our event, meeting links, etc. We 
We can also specify a location to search for here and display a map if required. In our case, we selected the event layout as compact, and then we can select an image and save. Quick Links is a great way to add web links to various locations, so we change the main layout to one third right, then add Quick Links web part. Add an external link, for example in this case it's microsoft.com, and choose a thumbnail icon which is a nice feature with lots of thumbnails to choose from. So in the end we select the world icon. Then we add two other quick links in the same way. We have options for displaying the quick links layout again, and we go with the button layout. We choose fill color, and then we publish our site to make the changes. To change the colour of the quick links and sites, we can change our theme colour. Go to settings and change the look. Click theme. Then I think we go with the blue colour. Then click save. So let's add a new document library to our site, named Azure for our new documents. We can then drag and drop our file content and upload to SharePoint to make available to our users. The Azure document library then gets shown in the site navigation menu. We can then add a document library web part to be shown on the main page. A nice touch is also adding a weather feed which displays weather for your chosen location. And we re-edit our hero web part to select four tiles instead of two as we have more content to display now. Then we add a countdown timer for our live event, choose the date of the event and the image to show on the main page. Site permissions we can view in settings and site permissions. We can add our permissions by adding users or groups for site owners, members or visitors. This is where we grant users full control, edit or read access only to our site. In our case, any users added to members of these groups get the correct site permissions. So thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel to receive updates on new videos posted weekly. All the very best. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye for now.